The contents of this lab in Tempe, Arizona are so dangerous, so critical. Everyone is coming in blind to this. This is a novel virus. It's not something we've seen before. The only way we can speak to assistant professor Ephraim Lim is through Zoom, even though he's only a few doors away. One of the things we're still keeping an eye on is on the evolution of this virus because that virus is still around in our community. In March, that community at Arizona State University played host to our country's fourth COVID-19 case. As soon as it was detected, Dr. Lim started studying how the virus mutates and sent his findings to the World Health Organization, something that still continues to this day. This virus overall mutates pretty slowly, which is a good thing. However, we can have instances where the virus can have very large dramatic mutations, such as the lesions in the genomes. Like all living cells, as viruses evolve, their chemical makeup changes. In viruses like the flu, that happens frequently, which is why every year there is a new vaccine to treat whatever strain is expected to circulate. With COVID-19, Dr. Lim found those mutations happen slower. Overall, the virus still seems to be pretty stable. Which is great for scientists like Dr. Brenda Hote, who has been one of the country's leading virologists tasked with developing a vaccine. It is very good news that the virus is not changing rapidly, and especially in the region of the virus or the protein that is the primary target, the spike protein, for um, vaccine development. The spike proteins are those long stalks that make COVID-19 so recognizable. It's how the virus binds to our cells and infects them. The current vaccine being developed focuses on disrupting that process, but that could change if the virus adapts once a vaccine is introduced. We will have to see over time as the virus continues to circulate, as we put a vaccine into play, whether or not um, there will be any issues. Precisely what Dr. Lim's lab will continue to work on. So when a vaccine does come out, it works to its fullest capacity. We are still in a very good window of if whatever that we are designing and all the things that are in the pipeline right now should be able to be really effective. In Tempe, Arizona, I'm Dan Grossman reporting.